When they say when you go to an Asian store or Asian market, you will discover stuff that seems infrequent and peculiar, but they are not. Yes, they are not. You are just not familiar with what they are. The main ingredient in this recipe is one of them. These are pig's large intestines. I got these from the Asian butcher. It was nice to have them from there because these came out clean and the smell is not that awful. Soak in salted water for a short period of time. Set aside. garlic, 5 to 8 gloves, set aside. Grate or pound 2, two thumb size of ginger, set aside. I only required a bit of cleaning by washing them and, and forget to give them a little massage. Add water until these are fully submerged. Add ginger and garlic. Salt and freshly ground black pepper. I repeat! Freshly ground! over high heat. Cover and let it boil. I am not here to teach you how to cook, but I'm going to show you that anyone can cook. And when I say anyone can cook, I mean anyone can cook. And when I say anyone, anyone can cook, I mean anyone can cook. When it's already boiling, flip it over. Turn to low heat. Let it cook until the intestines are fork tender. In a frying pan over medium to high heat, put two tablespoons of cooking oil. Saute onion. Stir. Sprinkle with freshly ground black pepper. Add two chicken or beef bouillon cubes. Stir. Ginger is essential in this recipe since I've already added ginger while boiling the intestine. Later, I'm going to show you how. Put in 1 to 1 quarter cup of jasmine rice with 2 to 3 cups of water. Glutinous rice would be the best option, but in the absence of glutinous rice, jasmine rice is a great alternative. I rinsed this once. Don't rinse the rice too much, so you don't wash away the extra starch, which could make the porridge or pudding thick and starchy. Stir. Set aside and let it boil. Let's get back to the intestines. The easiest way to test if the food is tender enough is to use the fork poke test. When it's already tender, remove them from the casserole. Set aside and let it cool down. Remember, for those of you that have watched Cook Repeat for a long time, but just a year, we, we are not wasting anything and we fairly use everything. So we will use the intestine broth for our porridge. Pour the sauteed porridge into the intestine broth. Pour slowly so that it won't splatter everywhere. Just add a little water in the other pan just to make sure we transfer every bits and pieces of rice. Cover and let it boil. When it's already boiling, give it a little stir. Sprinkle two to three tablespoons of fish sauce. Boil eggs in the same pan. Don't forget to wash the eggs. I put four eggs. You can add more if you desire. Gradually stir the porridge so the eggs will immerse in the bottom or you can just cover them with rice. Cover with a lid and let it cook for about five to eight minutes. Best tips on how to cook eggs perfectly over time. Start with room temperature eggs. Take note, refrigerating eggs is unnecessary. If you're in a country that's less crazy hot than in a tropical country, you will not have a problem leaving eggs in or on the cupboard. For this, we are going to cook them for 7 minutes. After 7 minutes, remove the eggs one by one from the pan. If the porridge is running out of water, add 1 to 4 cups of water. Remember that this recipe is so versatile that you can decide on the consistency of the porridge. Continuously stir the porridge until it thickens. Don't forget to add salt if necessary. Turn off the heat and then set aside. In a small mixing bowl, just combine a quarter cup of raw or washed sugar, any sugar will do, a quarter cup of ketchup or barbecue sauce, a quarter cup of oyster sauce, 
a quarter cup of soy sauce, and mix well. Add a dash of freshly ground pepper once more, once twice. Freshly ground! Mix well then set aside. This serves as the barbecue sauce. In a clean surface, let us start to cut the intestine into bits and pieces, around half to one inch thick. Thread the pieces onto the skewer. Note, if you are using the classic bamboo skewer, let them soak for 20 to 30 minutes into the water before threading the meat. Make sure that they are fully submerged. This will keep the skewer from burning easily. Once done, set aside. Place the foil onto the grate. Arrange the barbecue in a preheated grill. It can be gas or charcoal. Place under over a hot grill, three to five minutes on each side. When the intestine is already sizzling, coat them with the barbecue sauce until fully covered. Put under the grill, then let it cook. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet, smash the subscribe button and the bell right now so you don't miss any latest videos that we upload. Repeat the same process by flipping it into the other side. For the dipping sauce recipe, please check the description below. Now, let's do the plating, or should I say bowling? If you want to know how to cook Filipino dish in an easiest way or to know some cooking and baking, check out the rest of our videos where you can find easy recipes to try at home. And let us know in the comment section what food you want us to try next or if you tried this recipe. I love hearing from you guys. Then serve! Enjoy! See you in the next video, my dear repeaters. Bye bye to all the fire repeaters. That is all for Pokemon.